Even guys, day 28. This is our column walkthrough solution. So this one here is basically a rectangle, a couple of fillets, some holes which are through and two views. Hopefully this one's a bit more straightforward today. Into my drawing. Okay, make sure I'm in my correct units when we're still in our um, inches rather than millimeters. So again, obviously mine always defaults to mil because it's just what my template's set to. Like so, so I'm gonna draw my X line. One and two, and I'm just gonna link those guys into my construction. And I'm just gonna do some offsets. I've got offsets of six by one. So uh, six more high, or six high, sorry, six inches high, one inch to the right. And then I'm gonna do zoom. Just get that zoom function in. So that's kind of my first out of point that I'm gonna do. Basically, when you look at it from the front, it's a big rectangle anyway. Like so. And I've got an offset two inches down. It's going to form like the face part of my part here. So, if you're looking at it from sort of either side, Okay, we've got uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.175. So that's the first thing I'm then going to do now. Can't spot offset. Maybe it's 0 0.13 down. And these dimensions are matched straight up to the plate. So I'm going to the diameter of. Uh, one seven and one point one seven, and then we can mirror these around. One and two. Hopefully, if this is right. Of course, it's not going to be right, is it? If I didn't choose the halfway point, I could have got that in, but it would give me the halfway of the overall. So that's those points in. We've got this little like free bar here. So the free bar comes actually from the circle in a second, so we can map that across afterwards. That's one in the center, which we've got a 0.56 um, kind of little, little bolt section as well. So uh, this back edge actually is 0.5. Three nine, so it's going to come out and then back in again. So half offset, half an inch, and then going to come in again. Offset, uh, let's go zero point three nine. Which will give us a grand total of zero point one nine five. Skin is the width um, as well, so this is kind of like a bolt um, through section that we need then to put. So it's point um, three nine. So it's actually sat um, zero point seven five high. So, offset, let's do two inches, then we're offsetting so two and a half, three, well that's also a three or three and a half on it, let's fit the right there. One from the back edge. So 
little button um, here from the back edge like so so that's going to have to be so this going to be the height here that should be 0.25 and down to the bottom back up back on the two inch line which is here back across back up actually the bit two inch line below by looks of it like so then we get to fill it uh, fill it is radius one and then we have another fill it so radius means not three eight so that's those two bits and then we have our little holes which are in the center of the two so offset one so and again it sits two two inches oh. 0.75 and then just half of that square sorry one inch from the square So it's one and a half. Then we're doing a radius D for diameter uh, 1.17. And then we're doing uh, 0.5 in the same space. So D 0.5. This uh, line here, we're going to map. Ross come on and that's going to be our point of where the hole goes through for the rack like so, so it's good as that sort of element there it's just looking through we can see the rack moving up and down uh, like so, the actual other part you can't see because it'd be behind. So there we go. Turn that one off. That's essentially our same drawing. Obviously, we could actually put a three put hole through this side if we needed to. So that's today's drawing. That's our column. Okay, tune in tomorrow for the rack.